Hello, everyone. I am uh, Tadeo Sato. Uh, thank you for having me at ApacheCon Asia. Uh, today, I will talk about integration of the script with the combination of Apache Camel and Japan. I will show you uh, how to easily you can write integrations just like scripting. Let's start. About me, uh, I am a software engineer based in Tokyo and uh, work for Red Hat. I am also a Apache Camel and How to IO uh, committer and a member of Japan Camel user group. I love open source and have been involved in software integrations uh, for more than 10 years. Uh, the session goes as follow. Uh, first, I will explain the concept of integration as a script. Then I will give a short introduction to uh, both Apache Camel and Jibang. And I will show you how to write an uh, integration script. After that, I will look into some real world examples and I will share with you some practical tips uh, so that you can avoid common pitfalls when you start integration, uh, integration scripting. And uh, finally, I will wrap up with the to uh, related projects uh, to put my talk in a broader context. So integration as a script. Integration uh, means uh, connecting systems and services. And as you know, integration is one of the most complicated tasks in programming, uh, such as connecting to DBs and messaging brokers, uh, external REST APIs, etc. But uh, what if you can write integrations uh, like you like uh, you write a bash script? The idea of integration as a script or integration scripting is to try to make integration as commodity as possible. To uh, make it happen, uh, the combination of Apache Camel and Jebang is an ideal match. Let's shortly introduce them one by line, uh, one by one. Firstly, Apache Camel. For more detailed intro introduction, uh, if you missed the first session of Apache Camel by uh, Kroos and Andrea, I highly recommend watching the recording for the session. In the context of integration scripting, uh, Apache Camel is a Java integration framework widely used in many enterprises worldwide. You can write a uh, message routing between systems uh, with this friend DSL, as you can see in the source code example. Also, it fully supports enterprise integration patterns. And it has more than 300 uh, built-in components and data formats. What is enterprise integration patterns, or EIP? Uh, it is the design patterns in the area of systems integration. It is the accumulated industry knowledge and best practices. Camera supporting EIP uh, means uh, you can immediate, immediately access to the best practices anytime you like an uh, integration with camera. And uh, Apache Camel uh, has more than 300 of components and data formats out of the box. What it means is that uh, once you get used to Apache Camel, uh, you have in your hand instant connectivity to most of the systems and services in the world. Okay, next is Jebang. Jebang is a relatively new tool. Uh, which is founded by uh, Max Andersen, a uh, developer of Caucus. He just started Jebang a couple of years ago. Jebang is, in essence, a command line tool. And with the tool, you can directly run uh, Java programs like a script. It already has many features, uh, including JSON support, ID support, and native compilation with uh, GraalVM. 
Um, in my view, uh, Jevan is not just yet another good command line too, but has a full potential pot potential of uh, becoming the next generation Java development and execution environment, uh, which can be a replacement to Java C or Maven. And it can also be applied to IoT. Let's see uh, how it works. First, you do uh, Jevang init uh, to generate a script file. Uh, here it is uh, hello.java uh, generated. And hello.java will look like this. Uh, it is simple hello world Java code. All you need to learn it is to uh, pass the file to Jevang command. It compiles the code into jar and then immediately run the code. That's great. But as soon as you try to write more serious code, you will need uh, some external libraries. Uh, the essential feature of Jevang is that you can define dependencies uh, with the TIPS instruction at the header part of the script file and with the form of Maven gap coordinate, uh, group ID, artifact ID, and version. So uh, you can leverage the full power of Java ecosystem. You can write a script in Java syntax, but it may not still look uh, lightweight uh, compared to scripting languages such as JavaScript or Python. My preference is uh, this JShell script. And JShell is an interactive console uh, for Java, uh, which is added uh, since Java 9. By changing the script's extension to .jshell, you can write and run a script as a set of JShell instructions. By the way, I added uh, in this example called uh, slash exit uh, at the bottom, but it's totally not necessary. It just show you that uh, you can write any JShell command as well as a line of Java code. Later, I will show you uh, some practical usage of JShell commands. ID support. Many of you should start uh, writing a script with a terminal editor uh, such as Vim or Emacs. But with the script growing more complex, you might end up wanting to use code completion with the help of IDE. That's when the Jebang edit command helps. All this Jebang edit command does is generate a project wrapping the script you are writing and a temporary directory. You can see how it works uh, by using three commands. It returns the path to the project. Also note that the project source file is a symbolic link to the actual uh, script body. Uh, this is how the edited code on IDE is immediately reflected in the original script. Let's see a demo. Uh, here I use uh, VS Code. Here the ID opens and it's still loading the code completion, but okay. Uh, as you can see, uh, the code completions work uh, like this and as I already installed Kevin tooling extension, here you can use uh, uh, endpoint parameter completions as well. Okay.
Okay, uh, now we are all set for getting started with integration scripting. First, Java style. Uh, this is how our integration script looks in Java. You can write a set of dependencies and uh, imports, including camel ones, then declare class and the static void main method. Inside the main method, you set up a uh, camel main uh, instance and define a root. When running the script, Java first resolves and uh, uh, downloads dependencies and then build a jar for you. And it runs a camel root like this. Next, JSA style. Uh, dependency and import parts are the same. The difference is you no, long, no longer need to write class and the main method. You can jump into the most interesting part immediately. That's why I prefer this style. And second, second time, uh, you run a script with the same set of dependencies, it no longer downloads them. It builds a local cache. Uh, so the code launch is much faster. Okay, uh, let's dive into real world examples. The first example, uh, let's uh, search Twitter with some keyword and write the return log to a file. For those who are not familiar with Twitter, uh, you can freely substitute it with your favorite SNS such as Weibo. In this example, uh, with uh, camel Twitter search components to search tweets with hashtag Apache camel, we then use a splitter EIP to split the return set of uh, tweets into each tweet and transform by extracting the uh, tweet body into text. And uh, finally, uh, write it to a file one by one. Uh, this is a script that realized the integration. Uh, due to the time constraint, uh, we won't look into the code uh, line, by, line by line. Here, let's just see uh, how such an integration task can be easily coded in a script like this. Without the power of Apache Camel, the code must have been much more complicated and hard to understand uh, at a glance. Let's try uh, running the script. Okay, uh, it gets uh, five tweets with about camel hashtag. Five is the default limit of the camel Twitter search component. And you can see uh, that the uh, tweets are also written to the file, uh, the log file. Okay. Next example, uh, this time, uh, let's read some JSON from a web service, then convert and print it to a standard out output. I chose the uh, weather in web service, and let's fetch today's weather in Beijing. We then transform the JSON into the value representing the weather, where it can be sunny or cloudy or rainy, and based on the value, we use con content-based router EIP uh, to dispatch the message and then transform it into Emoji text. And this is the script. Again, uh, we will look into the code uh, line by line. Uh, let's run the script as well. Okay, uh, at the time of uh, this recording, 
uh, the weather in Beijing uh, looks like uh, cloudy. Let's see one more example. I believe uh, launching uh, some REST server locally is something a web developer does occasionally. And yes, you can do it with integration scripting. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Thanks to the REST DSL feature in Camel, it looks very intuitive and readable. Um, let's go ahead and run the script. Okay, the REST server is up. And uh, let's send some uh, request. Okay, uh, sending uh, hello ApacheCon uh, get request. It works. And um, my ApacheCon also works. And uh, Camelot. Um, it's a new addition to Camelot family. It started as a feature in Camelot K, uh, but recently promoted to Camelot itself. And now you can even use it in a standalone camera. In essence, uh, Camelot is a higher level connector, uh, which is composed of uh, one or more lower level components and EIPs under the hood. It does a more cost-grained integrations uh, job, and it is reusable. Also note that it is uh, built with a community curated catalog, as you can see here, and which continuously grows in community. And you can find and pick up pieces you might fit your purposes. So this is a final example. Camelot is the best fit for uh, integration scripting because it brings uh, you a higher level, more coarse grained uh, integration uh, building blocks uh, than uh, primitive components uh, or endpoints and data formats. So if you can find uh, appropriate Camelot, you can get the job done much faster or you can go even further with uh, your yeah, integration scripting. And, and this example uh, uses uh, earthquake source uh, camera to fetch the latest earthquake info in the world and then transform and print it to the console. Let's see the script. Uh, using a camera, uh, such a relatively complex uh, uh, integration uh, can be compacted into a simple script like this. Um, let's run the script. Okay, uh, it works. Uh, very easy, isn't it? I hope uh, by now uh, you are interested to write some integration script. So I'd like to share with you seven practical tips that I collected from my past experiences in integration scripting. And tip one, uh, logging. Uh, when you start scripting uh, with JBang, the first thing you want to know should be how to control logging. The easiest solution is to uh, just turn it off. Most of the time, 
it doesn't make sense uh, to output uh, detailed log logging uh, for scripting. To turn it off, add a dependency to SL4J uh, no op library. On the other hand, uh, if you want to check the log, output it to standard output or error. To do so, uh, instead add dependency to SLF4J simple, and then set the system property uh, simple logger dot log file to uh, system out or system error. Tip two, using bomb. Um, like normal Java uh, projects, you will want to use BOM uh, in order not to repeat yourself on appending version to each depth line. It is also good for aligning versions within the umbrella of camera framework. Mm -hmm. To use BOM, uh, put the BOM at the beginning of the dependencies and don't forget to uh, append at form to it. It's not allowed to put a bomb in the middle or the bottom of dependencies. Another caveat is uh, you can use only one form uh, per script. It's a limitation from the current Java implementation. Tip three, uh, use imports. Using camel in integration scripting, you need to write the almost same set of imports uh, time and time again. It's a bit tedious to repeat. So you can use uh, slash open uh, JShell command to reuse the import declaration. Uh, create a file named uh, camel import here and Within the full, uh, uh, file, uh, put a set of camera imports you want to reuse. And when you write a script, you can load uh, this uh, camera imports file into the script by using slash open command. This way, not only you can use the uh, camera imports, but also make your script more concise. Note that this tip on, is only available for uh, JSON scripting. And tip four, um, there are so-called uh, predefined uh, scripts in JSON. There are default, uh, printing, and Java SE. All are equally available in uh, this uh, JSON scripting. By opening the Printing predefined script, you can directly use the shorter version of uh, print, print line, and printf methods within your script. Tip five. Actually, uh, I think this is the most important tip for integration scripting. Apache Camel, uh, by default, is not uh, designed to be used as a one-off script. Once you run a camera runtime, it continuously waits for a message and then process it in a root uh, until it's externally shut down. And it is not desirable for one-off scripting, uh, however. Most of the time, you should expect uh, it to uh, process only one message and then immediately shut down. The camera main component uh, has the option for it. Set its uh, duration uh, max message system property to one or some other fixed number. And once the root reaches the max number, it automatically shut down. Tip six, uh, configuration parameters. One of the most uh, complicated parts of integration is connection information and credentials uh, required to uh, connect to uh, remote systems and services. My recommendation is uh, read those parameters from 
uh, environment variables at the beginning of the script. There are uh, two ways uh, to apply those uh, parameters to camera components. One way is to apply them directly to each endpoint, like this. And the other way is to apply them to a component. This way, you can share the same configuration across all endpoints within the same component. It can be a bit tricky, however, as we would normally define those parameters in application.properties file. Um, but uh, for integration scripting, you can instead use a main add property method to set up parameters on a component programmatically like this. So, uh, how to define those n variables? My recommendation uh, is to use dm command line 2 by creating a .mrc file uh, per directory. You can load and unload a specific set of m variables per directory automatically. The final tip. Perhaps uh, you might want to monitor your script via JMX. Good news uh, is that uh, JBang supports attaching a Java agent to the script. So in combination with Jorokia JVM agent, you can expose your script via JMX. When you want to use uh, JMX with Camel, don't forget to add dependency to camera management component. To run a script uh, with Java agent, use a Java agent and Java option. And pass the gap uh, coordinate of the Jorokia JVM agent to it. And don't uh, forget uh, to append the clone agent label here. Otherwise, uh, it won't be recognized as a Java agent. To check if it's really reachable with uh, JMX, you can use, uh, for instance, a hotel console. And uh, you can manage and monitor your camera routes uh, like this. Okay, uh, let's wrap up uh, my session with uh, related projects. Camera K. It is a cloud native enabler for camera root. Uh, my talk mainly focused on local execution of scripts, but if you want to run integrations on Kubernetes or OpenShift, uh, camera K is definitely the choice. Also, uh, Apache Camera project itself is also working on creating a new command line to called uh, Camera JVAC. It will be available in the next Camera 3.12 release. It's still under development, so let's stay tuned. And uh, finally, uh, iCam is my proof of concept uh, project. It is, uh, in essence, a Jupyter kernel implementing implementation for camera. Uh, while it's still a uh, rough cut, if you are interested in how camera can be interacted in Jupyter Notebook, please give it, it a try. Feedback is always welcome. Okay, uh, that's all I have today. Thank you again for listening my session. Have a nice day.